Hey guys, uh, welcome to this video. What I'm going to do and possibly start doing from, from now on is answering your questions via video. Of course, I will respond via email to you as an individual as well, but I receive so many questions um, and they're fantastic. They really are. They, they, they make me so I, I love answering um, all your questions, but I figure that because I'm, I'm answering uh, one question about, about say about Facebook or about um, running stacks, then I figure other people like you might benefit from those same questions and the answers that I provide. So I thought I'll shoot the video. Um, maybe I'll do this uh, once a week, a couple of times a month, maybe. I don't know. Um, if you want to send questions through, you can reach me at Mick at profitcopilot.com or here's my personal email address it's mickmeany at gmail.com either way you will get to me and I will respond to you via email and who knows it might be included in this video so let's get down to it now the first question that I've chose is from David hello David um, I won't reveal any more of your information than that while answering these I'll just keep it as first name uh, to protect your, your privacy so David has um, so bought your course uh, emails do we always follow up immediately with a pitch to the main product so what David is referring to is when your subscriber opts into your email list there's a sequence and usually what I recommend my newbie students do is have the sequence like this so um, the subscriber will opt in and then immediately click a confirmation link which takes them to the lead magnet to the ethical bribe and then one day later they receive a value-packed email that also contains a pitch for a product um, a recommendation of a premium option and I recommend that's a good way to start to learn the ropes to get to grips with things but that's only one option that we have we have other ways of um, running the stack so one possibility could be that as soon as your subscriber opts into the email list as, as soon as they click that subscribe button as soon as they click that they are then redirected to a page that contains an offer on that page they can either go ahead and buy the premium option that you suggest or they can say no thank you and go ahead and receive the the lead magnet that you promised them now that's one version of the stack another way of doing it could be that the confirmation link that they click in the first email then takes them to that page so then we, we remove the um, immediate redirect after they click the, the submit button so it's a similar um, stack it's just slightly different another way another effective way could be to include the premium upgrade offer the pitch actually inside the lead magnet itself if you look at my, my other videos about triggering empathy then you have a really nice way to lead them into um, the the buying state of mind so those are, are what, three different ways of uh, making the pitch of course some some niches will respond in different ways some will um, absolutely become guarded as soon as they suspect you're trying to sell them something so you have to pile on the value it depends on the niche um, some niches thankfully expect to be sold to some want to buy um, very easily it, you know it, it comes down to the niche research stuff again watch that video um, so you so you can find the right niche for you um, okay I hope that helps you uh, David um, and, and good luck with um, your, your your new affiliate marketing business so let's move on to um, the second 
question. I'm just going to do two for the moment because I don't want this video to overrun. I want to keep it fairly short for you. So the um, second one is from Hans. And hello, Hans. Hans says, um, as you promote on your Facebook page, do you, do you think that buying Facebook likes is the way to go? Okay, uh, I can see why it's so attractive. Um, you invest, what, $50 in uh, to, to some company that promises, promises you like uh, 10,000 likes on your Facebook page. I, I mean, on the, the surface, it looks like a fantastic way to get leads into your funnel. But realistically, these, these likes aren't genuine. They're just bots. Stay away from that. I would advise you to invest your money in genuine advertising, Facebook advertising, to grow the page that way. Um, I know that it, it can be a really attractive prospect to have, um, you know, five, 10,000 likes on your page. And it looks great from the outside, but these people who, these bots, that have liked your page, these fake profiles, aren't going to interact with you or your brand or your message. They're not going to support you. They're not going to share anything that you post. Um, there's nothing to be gained apart from vanity. From the outside, it looks great and that is vanity. Um, of course, when you're building a business and a following, you have to leave your ego at the door. You have to leave vanity at the door. There's no room for ego, no room for vanity in this thing. Um, so while it does look great, what function does it serve? Those bots, those fake profiles that are liking your page, it's not even good social proof. Um, it's, it's deceptive. Um, I mean, I'm guilty of it. When I was uh, first starting out experimenting with, with Facebook, um, uh, I mean, close to, to 10 years ago now, you, you, you had these companies pop up offering, you know, thousands and thousands of, of likes for, you know, a few dollars. So, of course, I gave it a shot and invested some money into it, not much money. And the first couple of days were amazing. I saw the likes climbing. I thought what an amazing way to get leads um, into my business. This this is, uh, I thought I'd, I'd discovered something amazing. Anyway, little did I know that these were bots, that they were fake profiles and they were, were essentially useless, apart from making the page look good at a glance. Um, as soon as anybody, you know, delves into the page a little bit and sees how sparse things are, it, it gives the game away. So I've also heard that uh, buying fake likes affects the the um, the algorithm of of your page, so it won't show up as much or something like that. Don't quote me on that. Have a look into it for yourself. It's only something I heard, and I haven't really taken the time to investigate for myself. So to answer your question, Hans, no, I would stay away from Facebook from buying Facebook likes. Um, absolutely invest in proper Facebook advertising um, and or even better um, get those potential leads to your squeeze page to opt into to your mailing list turn them into actual leads and then refer those leads back to your Facebook page anyway it is up to you but that's my honest opinion um, I think I will leave it there please do send me your sensible logical questions um, you wouldn't believe how many times I get asked, how can I become the next Apple? And I'm not that guy. I don't know. Um, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, if I did, I would become the next Apple, but I don't know how. But if you have a small business or you want to start a small business, work from home, um, home based business, that kind of thing, I'm your guy. But beyond that, um, no. So. If, if you can ask questions that will um, benefit other people who have home businesses predominantly working on the internet, then please do send them through. I will 
answer you in person via email and who knows they might also find their way on onto uh, future videos of this so i'll leave it there guys thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you again soon